Assalamu alaikum ninjas, ahlan wa sahlan bikum, welcome back, welcome back, check it out what I have in my hands, Realme X2 Pro versus Redmi K30, yes ninjas, uh, these crazy beasts, uh, the 5G version of the Redmi K30 is selling for the same price tag as the Realme X2 Pro, the 8GB RAM variant, so it's around $410, $420, the 6 gigs of RAM, the Realme X2 Pro is selling for $360, which makes it the cheapest smartphone in the world with Snapdragon A55+, Plus. highly, highly recommended, but it doesn't have... Uh, 5G uh, connectivity, 5G network, and it doesn't have a 120 hertz display. I mean, check it out, Ninja. So uh, we're gonna begin here firstly by the design itself. Both of these devices are similar in the thickness, 8.7 versus 8.8, 199 grams versus 208 grams uh, weight. So slightly just so for 0.1 millimeter thicker and for nine grams uh, heavier, the Realme X2 Pro. On the back, we have quad cameras on both of them, flashlight, and can see by itself. What do you think? Th what do you think? Which uh, this you prefer more ninjas these colors are very very similar in my opinion uh, the realme k30 it is kind of a little bit goes to the whitish side or kind of say it i call like the blue light white uh blue light uh, blue light blue light yeah blue light color blue light light color while the realme x2 pro goes to the like a really kind of uh, medium to the dark version of the blue color blue color if I can call it like that anyway both of them have type c usb port 3.5 mm headphone jack one speaker Yes, no, yes, maybe one speaker on the bottom, but the Realme X2 Pro has a dual stereo Dolby Atmos stereo speakers, crazy deal. I are blessed with the Redmi K30, uh, while the Realme X2 Pro doesn't have it. Dual, uh, dual acceptable slot, uh, Redmi K30 Pro, oh, somebody's calling me, so let me just answer it, see? Okay, Ninjas, I'm back, I'm back, sorry for that, I was outside, delivery came. Ninjas, these are completely two different displays, completely two different displays. So anyway, the premium quality of them is on pair there with the flagship smartphones, which are maybe seven, eight hundred dollars worth. Metal frames and glass on the front, glass on the back with both of them. Yes, both of them, but both of them don't have a wireless charging. For the price tag, maybe we can ask it. And what we can say that the Realme X2 Pro obviously has the 1000 lux brightness display here, so indeed it is brighter than just. And you can see by itself here the difference just pops up, super super bright panel. And here you go, you can see by itself also here, look how bright it is this display in just. Very very bright. Let's go now with this uh, viewing angles firstly. There you go, Realme is on the left, Redmi on the right side. Man, this is completely two different displays, completely two different displays. And they completely look even different. Uh, yes, I have a white balance on both of them on cool side. But still here, check it out. So anyway, you prefer what you prefer, Ninjas. Remember, this is AMOLED panel versus LCD IPS. Completely two different displays. Okay, so let's go with the YouTube uh, comparison. Of course, a YouTube video here. Uh, check it out. Realme is on the left. Redmi K30 is on the right side. Man, again, I repeat again, this is... Uh, I don't remember the last time I had like a completely two different displays like for the viewing experience the color scheme here Just the the, the look itself is completely uh, Different just anyway. We have 6.5 inches versus 6.67 inches also probably maybe it's also up to the uh, color uh, color cal uh, Calibration or we'll have that in mind, but again, there's is probably two different not probably it is two different companies Samsung AMOLED versus LCD IPS yet I don't know uh, which company is producing this panel over here with the Redmi K30 full HD uh, plus resolution 400 ppi versus 395 ppi 1000 screen brightness 420 so up to 450 that's uh, again ninjas two times <laughs> brighter if I can call it like that two times brighter for the Realme X2 Pro and it is more visible outdoors so this is gonna clear big clear clear winner with the Realme X2 Pro uh, anyway we have two uh, basically we have uh, two million with one contrast ratio with the Realme X2 Pro with this AMOLED panel. <gasps> wow, 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 wow. But again, it just yes, I do prefer. I do prefer the display of the uh, of the Realme X2 Pro. It has 90 hertz. It has 135 hertz touch uh, sens sensing, uh, of course, uh, option Corning Gorilla Glass 5 DC DCI-P3, uh, also HDR10 plus certified display. Redmi K30 has HDR10, Corning Gorilla Glass 5, screen brightness 420 luxes, 2.5D curve, and not that high contrast ratio like with the 
Realme X2 Pro. Anyway, we have 90 Hz versus 120 Hz. So in reality, you're gonna have a slightly more responsive and better fluid display with the Redmi K30. Uh, Ninjas, also you can play fine games which also support 120 Hz. I didn't even know, but there are like, there's a huge list of the 90 and 120 Hz uh, games. I, I thought there's only one or two games, but I saw, I saw it that there are many games, maybe probably around 30, 40 games that offer 90 up to 120 Hz refresh rate. FPS. Anyway, just, anyway, this is regarding the panel. For the price tag, again, we have to say that uh, Realme X2 Pro here, the screen brightness, remember that the screen brightness takes it for the outdoor use. This is probably for me uh, the biggest reason to buy it over the Redmi K, uh, K30 Pro because it's not bright as the Realme X2 Pro. But again, just many people bash the screen of the Redmi K30 without even having the panel itself. And check this out here, comparison next to the AMOLED and the LCD IPS. Yes, maybe they have a kind of a d different color scheme but just check here right now the difference. I mean, it's it's a great panel. It's a great panel with the Redmi K30. So I don't know why people are bashing a, a smartphone without having it. Especially also the YouTubers. They see some few ne negative reviews and the uh, negative comments from I don't know forums or something like that, and they just decide to uh, base their review on what uh, some people think, which don't even have a smartphone at all. I just don't get it, honestly. I don't get it. For me, I still love the Redmi K30 display. It just looks really beautiful, super sharp. The color reproduction is really nice. Uh, of course, it is kind of, uh, it, does ha it doesn't have those deep blacks. But again, it just, you're going to be more secure. It seems that the people don't like... Uh, they don't like sometimes the color calibration with the AMOLED panels. They don't also love uh, the thing that it's going to have maybe a screen burn after a year or two years of use. I still didn't have it yet. But again, some people are also reporting that. While the LCD IPS panel, you're not going to have a problem with that. And just this is it regarding the display panel. There you go. This is completely different screens. Completely different screens with that video sample there. You saw it. You probably saw it. In some occasions, some occasions, uh, it's not that. Green color is uh, more vibrant here. Also, I can, I do, uh, I can say confirm, uh, and some people also, that the AMOLED panels are sometimes oversaturated uh, in the pictures. And indeed, they're correct, Ninjas. It does, the, the panel here with the uh, Realme X2 Pro sometimes does, does look more oversaturated. What the Redmi K30, this LCD IPS, uh, leans to more natural side. So that's why in some cases you can see by yourself a big difference in the color, uh, in, col in color, of course, uh, color, the strong, this, uh, how do you call it like that? Uh, the color vibration and of course uh, the color calibration itself. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, this is also a different screen, screens. Check, just check, did you saw the, the white balance there? The, how, the white, again, like, what can I say here? Uh, that, check this out. Check out how uh, the green is so oversaturated with the Realme X2 Pro. This one here does look similar, very similar, but still a little bit more darkish with the Realme X2 Pro. Anyway, let's go next now with this uh, speaker comparison. Okay, speaker comparison. Let's begin with the Realme X2 Pro. Left side. Redmi. Different screens, completely different screens. Read me. Okay, just <laughs> you get the point here. Easy win here for the Realme X2 Pro. What a strong speaker! Around maybe 30, 40 percent louder in the in the. In in the uh, basically louder loudness it is like 30 40 percent uh, higher with the Realme X2 Pro also it has this feature of the stereo speakers Dolby Atmos Ninja so the sound is coming from the f uh, both uh, speakers from the earpiece and the, it's not just low speaker here it's super strong if I even if I can may say um, I, I hope I'm not uh, kind of over uh, exaggerating but I can even compare this speaker with this speaker over here <laughs> that's how strong it is Ninjas Clear win for me it is the Realme X2 Pro. Again, Redmi uh, at K30, it has a single speaker. It's decent from 1 to 10. I think I gave it around 8 score. It's good. It's good, Ninjas. But again, for the price tag, Realme X2 Pro wins. Uh, anyway, let's with the, go with the camera comparison. Okay, Ninjas. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. So this is camera comparison. Redmi K30 versus Realme X2 Pro. 
video stability test you judge by yourself which smartphone has a better better video sample and better audio quality while using the front selfie camera okay this is camera test redmi k30 versus realme x2 pro handheld footage walk-in video stability Okay, Redmi K30 versus Realme X2 Pro, ultra wide camera lens. Video stability test also. What do you think? Which smartphone has a video, uh, better video stability with, with the ultra camera lens activated video sample? Beautiful day, Alhamdulillah, in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Okay, in just this comparison, Realme X2 Pro versus Redmi K30. Check this out at the night, ninjas. So what do you think which smartphone has a better video quality with less grain at the night? Using 1080p 30fps. stars come out. It's like I'm drowning in the ocean 